Now, a lot of these Egyptologists are Freemasons. So they don't want the truth to come out. So they going they control the minds of the world. You see what I'm saying? These is the same people, you know, that I was talking about on the other video. They could, you know, they they hide the truth in plain sight. You see, under the cover of, you know, discovery, uh, exploration, you see what I'm saying, uh, uh, archaeology or whatnot. They're just uh, uh, stealing. It's, that's a, that's a, a smooth word for stealing, okay? Egyptology. How the hell you got a, a people, it, it's a science. A people is a science or what not. Now, a lot of these Egyptologists are German and they connected to Freemasonry. If you go in any Freemasonry lodge, like one of the biggest ones is in uh Pennsylvania. And you know, uh obviously that's where they the Declaration of Independence in 1775. And the Illuminati is real. Nigga, ain't nothing. No fake. The Illuminati real. That's just facts. Which ain't nothing but an upper echelon of white billionaires that control the minds of millions of people. Especially they slaves. Okay? Because they can tell they slaves anything and they'll believe it. Okay, they'll give you a bunch of propaganda and, 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 and put it on TV and zap your mind of what the truth is. So the facts is that black people is the original people, but some kind of way he done uh, manifested his image as God and got you to believe the shit is the, it's being the true God. And he is not the true God. He is not the true God. See, he got all your signs and symbols. Like, I, if you go in any one of them lodges, I guarantee you all this Egyptian Nubian shit gonna be up in there. That's why they got a lot of you and say that these are some white people or something. And Play-Doh and home with them is the smartest people in the world until you start to read where they start to saying, well, these is African people or what? I'm going to pull that shit up in a minute, too. See if I can find it. But see, this is what they done done to you. And look at this shit right here. Look at it, the fall of Satan. The fall of Satan. That's him beating you. This picture right here is no different than this picture. It's him. It's propaganda for one. And you see that it's Jesus knocking out a black devil. And I did a video on that one day. But you see it right the fall of Satan. See? He got you believing that you Satan. So that's why black people hate their image. And he God and y'all love him. You see what I'm saying? And they say in the, in the Bible. Uh, don't worship the gods of your fathers. Your forefathers. In Egypt. Worship me. Okay. We talked about that one day. And this is what it is. And this is why black people always, always going to worship a white God. Black Americans is, and, and niggas in Africa too. Stupid goofies. That's how you know we the same people because we fall for the same shit every damn time. And when we see this right here, you rooting for the white man. There is no way you rooting for this black devil even though in the imagery you the black devil so when they show this shit to white people this is a reminder for white people that black people is their enemy okay and then y'all say when they kill a black person they'll say oh uh uh we forgive them jesus gonna forgive them and jesus is a white man nigga but he always knocking your ass out though you always gotta take the brunt and the misery and shit of his shit that he bring upon.
and then y'all turn around and worship the white man God or whatnot. And you wonder why I don't never show up, motherfucker. You sitting up here starving right now. And then you ask the nigga to show Tell the nigga to stop uh, coronavirus, then. His ass be in the hospital, too. That just facts. That just facts. So these people right here, you know, the Freemasons and shit, they got control of your mind and shit. They got control of your mind, Negro. And they done convinced you that God is white, you know, the, the, the you know the greatest civilization. Which and that shows that Egypt is the greatest civilization. How the why it ain't a damn Americaology or Indianology, motherfucker? Why it ain't none of that? See, it's Egyptology. See, and these peoples is lying, man. They using and stole your symbology, then stole your shit. And they'll convince you your shit is bad. And, you know, don't worship me. Don't worship your gods or your forefathers. Worship me. That shit in the Bible. And in particular, it say your forefathers, gods in Egypt, on the other side of the flood, don't worship me. Worship uh, Christ. Facts. And it say don't worship Egypt. And they be saying, oh, evil, and, and Christians believe in this type of thing. But they'll believe that a white man is God and that they ancient forefathers' gods who are black gods, who have always been black gods. You just started worshiping these motherfuckers in slavery. And they got your mind, Negro. That just facts. The planet will shift in experience in the other uh, uh, paradigm ship when the twinkly eye connect of the african gods watch now the soul of our ancestors is on the move nigga period because this the age of enlightenment you niggas can't stay asleep forever i know you wish you could i know you wish you could but before all of this shit was going on we was proud of being black these motherfuckers don't flip black people they didn't flip the whole world inside out and upside down nigga they're just facts. And so now everybody worship the smallest amount of people. Think about that. Everybody in the world worship white people. And they the smallest amount of people. How's all the colors in the world and the colors of the peoples in the world worshiping the smallest by population? The smallest people in the world. They got, they done, 1% of the population of the world done convinced 99% of the population to worship them, okay? To worship them, okay? And these, ironically, these 1% people own 99% uh, of the wealth of America, and damn near 99% of the world's wealth, okay, 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 and they protect it in secrecy. But you can see it, but you choose not to because you want to keep worshiping the cracker, stupid. Let white people worship the white God. Find your own. That's the, that's the whole mission. Once you get up off of that, we can really be free. The, 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 the ball and chain and shit and all them apparatuses they had in slavery ain't on us. That shit on the mind. They controlling the powers. They got the powers and shit to control your mind. And they doing it, Negro. And you on your knees begging them, trying to figure out a way out of the shit. And everywhere you go, Big Brother got their eye on you, okay? They got their eye on you. They ain't necessarily worried about, you know, any other peoples of the world. They worried about niggas. They worried about niggas. That just facts. They'll fight them Arabs and shit all day. You see what I'm saying? They'll argue with other white people and shit, other powerful white. Them motherfuckers has got all them rockets and shit just in case your ass uh ever want to come out that fetal position that you down on your knees on negro 
as soon as your ass trying to see is freedom of speech for everybody but the black man, okay? It's freedom of speech, but soon as a nigga get up here and get to talking, motherfuckers want to, you know, lock niggas up. I done told niggas. That's why I ain't go out there in the protest, nigga. Because niggas have, they having to put in laws for peaceful protests for black people, nigga, where black people can actually protest in peace. Black people been protesting in peace, but it was retribution for protesting, nigga. And it's still going to be some retribution because they ain't going to, you got to put that, that's state law, nigga. And just like I said, when you out there in the protests, big brother is watching, motherfucker. They just locked a white boy up. I think he live in Florida. He a YouTuber, nigga. But he was out there at the protests, nigga. And if you know, you out here, yeah, that's why I knew not to go out there. That's why I knew not to go out there. So they ain't got no motherfucking reason to come knock on my door. Because I knew. And I know how they get down. They ain't going to. Motherfuckers going to come up. Niggas that was in the protest. You're going to start coming up missing. Like that one girl that was found in the trunk. The Black Lives Matter girl was found in the trunk. Man, I'm telling y'all. Y'all best to be careful out here. Okay. Okay. But black people don't give up. Don't give up. It's going to take, you know, be ready to fight for 100 years. Go out, you know, protest every day for the next 100 years and do what you need to do. You know, and pass it down to the children and generations. Because you're going to have to do it, Negro. You're going to have to because we're going to have to totally be free. Totally be free. I'm talking about the mind and everything. Before these people, black people, you know, actually give up Jesus, they're just, they, 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 it's, it's like unimaginable to them that this shit could, you know, that the white man a lot to them about God. That's a form of control. If, if, if God looked like me, nigga, you gonna automatically associate me with God, especially when I done conquered you. And, you, you know, Cause obviously, nigga, your guys wouldn't shit if I beat you. If I beat you in a war, that's God versus God. That's just facts, man. That's just facts. That's just facts. And that go for every war up until now, nigga. It's the conquering of a people. If I get knock you off, nigga, I get the resources of your land. I get the, the women in your land. You know what I'm saying? Now you worship my religion. You see what I'm saying? So say if an area once was Muslim, you see what I'm saying? And then and, and some Christians come in and conquer it. Now their area is Christian. And now the people got to convert to Christianity or get the fuck on. That just how it work. That just how it work right now to this day. That's why the Muslims in Arabia and shit fight the Americans so hard and the, and, and, and the Jews so hard because they looking at it as, you know, uh, Abraham versus goddamn Muhammad and I mean Muhammad versus Abraham and goddamn Jesus and shit. Them is small prophets to the Muslim. And then you look at Christianity. Jesus is the main prophet and all them niggas small because all of it is the same thing. Y'all just done highlighted one character in each book and all the shit fake anyway. Okay. It's fake anyway, just like I said in the other video. So, don't goddamn, you know, come up out the rapture, black people. Okay? Quit letting, letting them, you know, control your mind. Y'all letting 1% of the population of the world control the world. Okay? Got another video, family. See y'all in a minute. Big, big king. Jop out.